In today's episode, I want to speak to you about your heroic, cosmic, mythical self. What is it and how can this awareness of your cosmic self, your meta-self, your platonic self, how can awareness of this greater being that you are help you to live a more joyful, abundant, wealthy, healthy life? Have you ever wondered who your true self is? According to Plato, you and I and this reality that we see through our senses is merely a shadow of a higher dimension. And unless we come into contact with this higher elevated self, our ideal self, our cosmic self, we will always be in a state of anxiety, insecurity, confusion, and a sense of alienation, loneliness, and isolation. So one of the things I want you to begin to become more sensitive to is the vibration of your higher self. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when you are feeling powerful, strong, confident, open and vulnerable in an authentic way, in a state of loving connection, then you know that you are aligned with your higher self, with your cosmic self. That's how you know, you feel it in your emotion, in your mood. So I want you to, if possible, keep a journal of the times you feel fabulous, the time you feel in balance and harmony. Start being like a detective, really taking note of those times and places, the people, the events that bring it out in you. Once you become aware of this vibration, it's like tuning into a radio station or a, a television station, a network if you like. You feel plugged in, turned on, tuned in to your real self and your power. And then you feel the flow of energy. I know it from myself. When I feel connected, as I am right now in this moment, I have energy. I feel radiant, I feel strong and capable of anything that I set my mind to. I know because I swim for a lot longer, for example. I have energy to swim to the island and back. Whereas when I'm disconnected, I don't feel like swimming, I'll just jump in the water, I'll, you know, do a few laps and that's it, you know. This is a sense of being supercharged. And it doesn't mean that you have to be externally expressing it. You can be supercharged in an introverted way. That happens when you are able to really focus on what you're doing, concentrating for hours on end on your business, on your creation, on lovemaking, on exercising. This is that state. 
Now you may say, yes, but Alkestis, can I always be plugged in and be in that super self connected to my cosmic self? Let me put it this way. You are far more tuned out than you should be tuned in at the present moment in your life. You need to make time for regular meditation. I don't know what your meditation is. It could be 15 minutes a day of looking at a candle flame, of focusing on your breath, of painting, of doing something where you feel that being tuned in. Like I said, take notes and figure out where you feel most tuned in. And you need to be returning to that vibration, to that station on a regular basis throughout the day. And the more you bring your awareness to it, the more often it will happen. The more often you will be aligned with your true self. And that's when the real magic starts happening in your life. Miracles coincidences, happy meetings, haphazard acquaintances that will make a difference in your quality of life, in the way you are receiving offers, abundance, money, wealth in all its forms. Your life will transform the more often you bring yourself to that middle. And it doesn't take too much. You just bring your awareness to it, even when you're in a meeting. You're in a meeting, you're trying to do an acquisition or you're trying to negotiate. Through your breathing, you can bring yourself back to your middle. And now for part two of this meditation.